Prior to the big announcement of a groundbreaking deal with Microsoft, the city of Johannesburg's executive mayor Park Stau was accompanied by the deputy president of South Africa, Cyril Ramaphosa, to showcase how the developmental programs of the city is accelerating its economic democracy agenda. It's been an inspirational start to the day. I'm here at Josie My Beginning, an innovation hub where the city's young innovators are hard at work to come up with possible resolutions around service delivery issues in and around the city. Here's how this administration is making it all come together. Josie My Beginning is an extension of Josie at Work. You would know that Josie at Work was meant for communities to partner with the city in the delivery of municipal services. Uh, the Josie My Beginning one is actually taking innovations from the communities that look to improve service delivery. So what you're seeing at this location at Resolution Circle offices is a showcase of what we've done with the innovations that have come in. We've got about seven, 17 innovators that whose ideas we're showcasing to the deputy president who's in our company right now. Uh, you will know that he's coming in as the champion of youth empowerment in the country. So he's here as well to make sure that things are going as they should in terms of empowering the youth. One of the innovations that are being presented here is traffic lights that will be able to stand the weather issues and other weather interruptions that actually are a problem in the city of Johannesburg when we have weather conditions like today, which is raining. So that's just one of the biggest ones. It's a temporary traffic light that can be moved from, uh, from hot point to hot spot where the traffic uh, congestion has been caused by uh, the traffic uh, lights not working. It's a, it's a mobile light, it can pinpoint itself, it shows where it is on the Google map and it can be moved at very short notice to where you want it. It's under construction at the moment, we've just completed the design and we are now going into the, into the prototype phase because he has to show a prototype by the end of uh, September. There were stops at several other sites before the big announcement was finally made. The crux of it is a partnership with Microsoft South Africa to train one million disadvantaged residents on digital literacy skills that includes Microsoft Office. About 800,000 of the targeted one million residents to be trained will be the youth. What we've observed this morning is what I call a feast of great economic opportunities for the people of Johannesburg. A feast because Today, I was exposed to a lot of initiatives that Gauteng is involved in at the economic level. And I've always held the view that smart cities, smart towns, need to go beyond just the provision of services to its citizens. It now needs to move into improving the economic life of the city and by so doing having a positive impact on the livelihoods of the people who live in every city. So today, having been exposed to what Johannesburg is doing, I'd like to congratulate the Executive Mayor, I'd like to congratulate members of the MMC, and all the others who are involved in this wonderful initiative. This actually started through an engagement where the executive mayor reached out to business uh, partners in the city. And we were one of the business partners at the table and a key conversation around this was what difference and what impact can we make. And very quickly one of the key topics that arose was this idea of this digital revolution taking place. And so, you know, we looked at what conditions could we create such that we don't or we ensure that the digital divide doesn't get any wider than what it already is and how do we actually make sure that the city is front and center from an urgency point of view to addressing this. We are continuously engaged in discussions with CEOs of large enterprises in the city of Johannesburg to form partnerships to confront the problems and challenges that we have as a city and this was born out of a discussion we had with the CEOs in the ICT sector. This is but one of the agreements that are being reached and have already been reached by the city of Johannesburg with different companies uh, and identifying what we can do jointly to one, remove the barriers to entry, to create participation in enterprise development and job opportunities for young people, particularly entry-level jobs, and lastly to facilitate enterprises for community-based enterprises.
So for us, this partnership is as a result of the continuous engagements that we are having with the private sector and trying to identify the possible areas in which we can collaborate. It's all about striking the right course to ensure optimum results. And this deal with Microsoft is undoubtedly inspirational, simply because it taps into a sector where skills development is so crucial to move the city of Joburg forward to realize its goal of becoming a smarter city, a world-class African city. And of course, for Microsoft, it makes perfect business sense to capitalize on this vision as Africa spends billions on infrastructure development with a priority on bridging the digital divide. Nashina Mohammed for Joburg today.